Hey, what's up? This is Danny Marlin. Just wanting to make another video. Someone reached out to me recently and said, hey, can you try this project that I made on Product Hunt? And I thought it'd be kind of a good idea to make a video, have some fun, try people's side projects. I have a million projects myself. So I thought I'd just kind of, um, you know, show, show, some, show some love, uh, try some ideas, maybe talk about some, some projects that I have found myself maybe talk about a uh, couple of stories in the news. We'll see how it goes, but let's jump right in here. So I was on Twitter recently and somebody called Vladimir Yankovic, shout out to Vladimir, reached out to me and he said, hi Danny, today I launched my project for the first time on Product Hunt. I'm a little bit nervous. And uh, while we go into the first place, I'll, why, while we go in the first place, I would be glad to receive any support and feedback. So I said, no problem, Vlad, Vlad let's check it out. So um, just so you know, I'm going into this blind. I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't know what uh, to expect. I'm probably, um, you know, I'm kind of the village idiot as well. So um, what I would say is if, if I am representative of, you know, the general public, then I will try and speak out loud. And as I experience the project, I'll kind of say what I think out loud. That way you get to see what a, a generic response may be, a generic understanding. Um, I may not be your target audience. I may not be your demographic, but you know, I, I'll try and uh, somewhat uh, be honest uh, and try not to uh, be too critical. I'll, I'll give you know some ratings out of five. I think that are appropriate. So let's go ahead and try uh, checking out Vlad's project. Um, did I click on the right thing? Yes, I did. Okay. All right. So let's read what this is. A button for Google Calendar. Okay. See your daily schedule and join meetings in one click. Interesting 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 i know that um adding things to my google calendar is probably the least favorite thing for me to do uh throughout the day i hate it um and so i don't know if you're going to solve that problem for me but let's find out it says a quick overview of your google calendar with one click access okay so that's kind of a probably a screenshot I'm assuming displays your events, sends a notifications, hot link to create an event. Interesting. So it's a Chrome extension with an overview of your Google Calendar in one click. Okay, interesting. Let's read from Vlad and see what he says. Uh, this is my first side project and my first launch on Product Hunt. Congratulations, my friend. I'm a little worried. I hope my button will be useful to you. I don't want to talk about functions. It's boring. The extension is very simple. You'll figure it out yourself. Smiley face. Oh, will I, fucking Vlad? Will I, will I? Don't assume I am that smart. I uh, routinely fuck up very simple things. I want to tell you the story of its creation. This extension is a copy of the legendary Google Calendar extension by Manas Tungir from Google. This extension has been around for over a decade and has been used by 5 million users. Unfortunately, in 2021, Manes decided to remove the extension. Uh, he announced this in an open letter in the repository of his project. Okay, this was terrible news as there was no other equally simple and free Google Calendar extension. Therefore, I decided to copy Manas's extension and take over its support and development. Manas approved my initiative and even posted a link to my project in his repository. Nice of him. The project is now safe, still free, still open source. I also want to say that I really enjoyed the launch. I received more than 30 reviews in the store and 20 by email. People thanked me. It's so lovely. Sorry for the too many trademarks. I'm afraid of Google lawyers. As you should be, my friend. I am sure most people are, although I don't mind a little bit of a tango every once in a while but yeah you're probably right don't get involved with google lawyers um they have more money than i do sense so cool got 592 upvotes 
number one of the number one product of the day june 11th very nice now let's jump into it how do i i don't want to go to the website i want to go to chrome store all right let's see how this fucking thing plays out add to chrome i like I said i've never seen it before so you're reviewing it at the same time i am a quick review uh i never read that shit i'm too impatient privacy practice don't care about that oh let's check out reviews i might write a review we'll see um um can i write a review add this extension to submit a review ah they don't allow me to write a review until i've added it okay add extension let's see how this fucking bad boy plays out now what do i do all right button for google calendar has been added to chrome use this extension by clicking on this icon okay manage your extensions by clicking extensions in the window i've got to be honest i don't use extensions very often so i've probably already lost what i need to do okay so i click there so button for google button for google Calendar lets you check your calendar while you visit other websites for this you need to grant your access to your calendar this is a one-time setup step required before you can use this app authorize google calendar okay you gave me one button to press always in favor of that i will screw up the buttons please ignore many of these emails uh, these are some uh, identity ip api scope approval ui quit unexpectedly i don't even know what you just said let's do oh, go away let's do my to-do list button for google calendar wants to access your google account oh uh, sure i trust you vlad i trust you yes i do this ad is sponsored by kickstart just kidding no it's not i wish um kickstarts are good though let's figure out what the fuck i need to do now okay so it's it's calendar it's a calendar so let's go to let's go to i don't know product hunt and go to extensions um where to go now what do i do button for calendar okay now what juneteenth fathers oh okay so so interesting okay now what though uh oh it's asking so maybe i okay so let's go back let's fucking figure this out so let's uh i'm i'm going through something a website let's try another oh i'm already lost i'm already lost okay let's go to like cnbc news or some shit all right, now I'm on CNBC News. And now I am doing some very important stuff and I want to use your extension. So what do I do now? Go to here, go to here. Okay, so it's just a quick access to my calendar, not bad. Um, I don't really use my calendar that much though. Oh, CNBC's website's going crazy. Um, add, so I can add a new event. So it just opens up, okay, new event. So there's nothing like really specific about that website I'm on. I guess it was quick though. It is quick. So maybe if I've moved these around a bit, I don't know how to do that. See, I'm a fucking dummy. I don't know how to move this shit around. How do I move you around? More tools, save page. Uh, no, 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 I don't fucking know. Bookmarks. Do, are you there? Are you there? Where are you? Where did you go? Downloads. I don't know where you are. Where the fuck? Okay, anyway. All right, it's cool. I mean, I don't, I don't use Google Calendar that much, but I would imagine for somebody that uses Google, Google Calendar a lot, it's probably how do i fucking do this show time remaining until the next no 
I don't want to adjust. I don't want, I don't want to mess with that. I would imagine somebody that uses it a lot. Oh, there we go. Maybe I grab this. Is it, oh, it's there now. Okay, boom. It's boom. Jackpot. So, I'm messing around and I just fucking do that. I think that's it. Very simple. Kind of a what's coming up. Let's press this. Nothing happened. I think that's pretty simple. So it's just it's just a way to avoid having to do like so if I'm on a website and I'm like, oh I want to go to I need to add something to my calendar. The other option is oh I have to go to my Gmail maybe because this is how I have to do it. And that takes forever. And then you have to go to like here and then here. And then I have to go to like, where's my calendar? There it is. So then you go to the calendar. Yeah, I mean, and then you have to like, where's the plus button? Fuck it, there it is, create, boom, add event. So I mean, it's it's gonna shave what, 20 seconds? Good, good stuff, man. Um, I would say in terms of, uh, in terms of an idea itself, I'd probably give it on a five point scale. Um, I'd give it maybe a two. I think it's a, it's a, it's an okay idea. I don't know that it's, um, like super revolutionary, but you know, in terms of solving a problem and saving people time that are very busy and just need to get to their calendar, I'd probably give it maybe a three out of five. I'm sure people that use it would use it, you know, multiple times an hour would give it a four out of five. But yeah, I think, uh, you know, in terms of the, the solving a problem, three out of five. Let's uh, um, give Vladimir a shout out. Let's tweet. What the fuck is his username? How do I get there? You are Vlad. Boom. How do I? I don't want to block you. I want to go to you. There we go. There we go. And let's tweet old Vladdy boy. Great job with the um, Chrome extension. Um. Uh, um, best of luck with uh, your next project. Um, and then I'll post to the project so that other people that follow me can find it wherever the fuck it is. Where is it? Button, there it is. All right, all right, all right. Why did I say it like that? Um, uh, 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 uh. Let's share it, let's share it. Um, great job with the Chrome extension. I made a video about it. Check out. Uh, my YouTube channel. But, oh, no, that's just it. That's just the best. Yeah. All right. Nice work, Vlad. Moving on. I actually got reached out to by somebody else as well. Um, I thought it'd be cool to check their project out. Let's get rid of Vladdy Boys. Google one stop shop thing. Now let's go back to Twitter. And let's. 
go back to messages. And somebody else reached out to me, Jackson, Jackson, Jackson. All right, hey Danny, hope to do is, how, how is to do going? To do is going very well, thanks for asking. Um, I've heard you're an avid hunter on Product Hunt. Would you be interested in checking out Console, my free weekly open source newsletter, and maybe tweeting about it if you don't mind it, find it interesting? I said, I'd love to check it out, and I'll make a video. He said, what, that'd be weird. It's a newsletter, and I said, I got you, man. By the way, I don't think these people reached out to me specifically. Someone that, some something is happening at Product Hunt that's just sending mass messages, but it's pretty cool, and it appeals to my ego, so I thought, you know, why not? Absolutely, Jackson. Let's let's check out what Jackson has. Um, once again, I have no idea what this is. I'm going into it blind, so you can figure out at the same time as me. Console a free weekly roundup of the latest in open source software. Okay, I am interested. I like free, and I like weeks, and I sometimes like software. Um, all right, let's read what Jackson has wrote. He says, he, I think it's a he, um, uh, and was an engineer at Alexa. Good for you. Hello, Product Hunt. Thanks for hunting Console, console Alley. I don't know what that means. Excited to be launching cons Console today. Console is a free weekly roundup of open source projects. It's about free, useful, innovative software and the developers that are dedicating their precious time to creating and maintaining it. Okay. Each week we cover a new open source project and the developer behind it. The developers always have interesting insights about technology trends, how they learn to code, how others can learn to code, and the resources they use to stay up to date on software. To give you a little taste, um, side note, I am uh, the world's worst uh, developer, which means like I know how to fuck up code and I don't know how to build code. But anyway. To give you a little taste, here are some of the projects we've covered so far. Fast API, today we had Sebastian uh, on to discuss how he went from Colombia to Dubai and eventually Germany after teaching himself how to code and how he now gets to work on his own open source project. Fast API full time, sounds cool. Tab FS and how Omar was inspired by Plan 9 to create a browser extension that mounts your browser tabs as a file system. I don't know what that means. Project Lightspeed and how Garrett got an interview at Amazon and landed a job at Mux off of the traction that Project Lightspeed received. Gun and how Mark is trying to build a more egalitarian future through his de decentralized technology. I have some fantastic interviews lined up for the month of June and can't wait to have you all on board. Very interesting. Okay, so very niche. Very niche. I don't know if it's, um, you know, going to penetrate uh you know pop popular uh topics but i'm sure it's very niche so now 284 upvotes good for you let's get this bad boy number four on the product hunt on june 6th let's fucking dive into this um all right so i have we land on a i guess it's a landing page console Join thousands of engineers in subscribing to a weekly roundup of the latest in open source software curated by Amazon engineer. Let me read it first. Oh, do I want to give you my email yet? I don't know if I want to give you my email yet. Do I want to give you my email yet? I don't know. I just don't want to do that so early. You do give me a let me read it first, which I appreciate. You probably could have bullied me into giving you an email, but... Um, let's try it out. So I guess this is hosted by Substack. I don't really know what Substack is, but if this is it, it looks cool. All right, so console 57, the art of command line, permafrost engine, and Ron DB. I don't know what any of that is. That might just be a sponsorship. That's why it doesn't make any fucking sense. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't know. Product disrupt. Get freshly curated resources to learn product design and create digital products twice to every month in your inbox. Join under, uh, join over 4,000 creators from the likes of Figma, Google, WordPress, Apple, Adobe, and more. RonDB is a stable distribution of NDB cluster and key value store. That sounds super boring. I don't know what that is. 
But this is, is this the ad or is this the newsletter? I don't know. I think this might be okay. Here we go. It says interview. All right. Now we're onto something. I don't know what any of that means. An interview with Michael Mikhail. No, an interview with Mikhail Ronstrom of Logical Clocks. Okay. Okay. So here we get to something interesting. Hey, Mikhail. Thanks for joining us. Let's start with your background. Where have you worked in the past? Where are you from? How did you learn to program? What languages or frameworks do you like, etc.? I was born in Stockholm, Sweden, and I'm still there. I studied in the gymnasium in the late 70s, similar to high school, where the school had a computer from 1973. We played computer games, Lunar Landing on a teleprinter. My first programming I did, basic on ABC80. Yes, it came in 1980. Okay. Most of my education in programming is being on the job training, the only formal course of programming I participated in and taught simuli. I view myself more as a software architect that does a lot of programming. I don't know what that means, and I certainly don't know that distinction, but I'm sure it is valid. I spent five years in the second half of the 1980s working as a programmer in various positions, among other things, developing a local area network product. I don't know what that means. Actually, a lot of assembly programming. In 1990, I joined Ericsson, where I had the opportunity to study for a PhD in technical information systems. This is where NDB cluster was born, which is the base for RunDB, which I currently work on. Good for you. I don't know what RunDB is, and I don't know what NDB cluster is, but we move in and shake in. I use very simple frameworks. I want the framework to be as simple such that I can focus on the actual programming task. Thus, I use Vim together with a seam. Okay, now we're getting to technical jargon. This is kind of going back to this, but I'm sure it's very niche. So if somebody that understands what this jargon is, is gonna enjoy this. I like using large screens. This means that I can have 10 different files and windows open in parallel on a screen with screen switching, and I can have 100 things on my screen to work. Oh, parallel. All right, where did you get your PhD? Do you feel it was worth the time and effort you spent in obtaining it? I got my PhD in the University of Lincoping. Wow, that's a name. University of Linkoping. Linkoping. Linkoping? Linkoping. University of Linkoping. All right, sidetrack. Let's check this bad boy out. University of Lipo. Lipoking. Lip. Lip. Liponking. What the fuck did it say? Lin Coping. Lin, Co Lin Coping. There's no way that's a real university. There's no way. There's no way. May oh, maybe. Let's check it out. Who doesn't mind a little bit of a Google? Oh, I guess it's a real fucking place. Where is that? Where is this? Uh, we're definitely in. Where are we? Uh, we're in Europe somewhere. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. No, we're definitely not. What country is this? Oh, Sweden. Duh. I'm sure it already said Sweden in that text somewhere. I just fucking wasn't paying attention. Cool. That's a middle of bumfuck Egypt or well, bumfuck Sweden University but there we go Linkoping Lin Link I can't say that we're Linkoping Linkoping University in the town of Linkoping all right well nice nice little university there cute little campus I'm sure all right let's get back to this um, I want to skip this one. I'm sure it's a great article, but I don't. I'm not picking up on too much of it. Console fifty six, fast API, tiddly wiki, and um fork. Jackson Kelly sponsorships. The best way to give and get instructions. Getro is a B two B SaaS platform that helps independent professional networks, including venture capital funds, accelerators, membership communities, associations, governments. Universities make better introductions for their members, me measure the outcomes of their intros, and in some cases make money doing it. Getro is looking for lead backend engineer. Okay, so um, what's this fast API? Is a market? I guess 
Um, so, okay, so there's an interview and then there's sponsorships and then there's interviews and then sponsorships. I don't know how the fucking newsletter works, so th like that could seem really dumb to everyone else, but I don't know how, I don't know what I'm supposed to look at. All right, an interview with Sebastian Ramirez of Fast API. Hey, Sebastian, thanks for joining us. Let's start with your background. Where have you worked in the past? Where are you from? How did you learn to program? What languages or frameworks do you like? Uh, Sebastian said, I'm from Colombia. I was homeschooled all my life, so I don't have any official degree. I started with sloppy HTML, CSS, and some JavaScript when I was around 15. I kept studying online, reading documentation sites and standards. At some point, I took many online courses. That's how I got into Python. I started working in a startup in Colombia. From there, I ended up in the Middle East, and then I joined a spin-off company there in Dubai. After that, I moved to Berlin, Germany to join Explosion. Explosion, and I worked there until very recently. Now I quit to dedicate a high percentage of my time to Fast API, Typer, and my other open source projects while doing some consulting. I like modern Python for the most of the things that TypeScript for some others. I'm a fan of Docker and containers. I've had the chance to try and use many databases and similar tools. I'd like to understand how they work and what use for each use case. Any favorite database in particular? I like them for different reasons. Postgre, da da da. Cool. So, I mean, it's an interesting newsletter. Like I said, very, very niche. Very niche. The um, you know developers are probably going to enjoy reading this. I'm certainly not your target audience. Um, in terms of idea, again, I'd probably give it a two out of five. You know, um, uh, in terms of the idea, and then the problem it solves. What problem would it be solving? Like lack of com lack of reading materials f about other developers, lack of uh, um, maybe lack of community. So you want to read about like other developers, and so the the newsletter would be sourcing um, sourcing developers and sharing their story, like humans of New York developer style. I don't know. It's 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 an interesting concept. Um, uh probably not my my style of reading but again that doesn't mean uh there there aren't thousands if not hundreds of thousands if not millions of people that wouldn't enjoy it um especially probably in the developer community so great job there let's uh let's reach out to jackson and let's say thanks To Jackson. Hey Jackson. Nice work with the newsletter. Um, it can definitely, it is definitely for a very, very niche group of readers of readers nice work nice work and then let's post so that people can find it themselves um da -da -da, da -da -da. let's post this console boom So that is um, that's the second one. Let's try um, these are these next ones were ones I just kind of found and I thought would be cool to share um, or at least have some fun. So I went kind of through product hunt and I found. Uh, um, pre-design, I thought it sounded cool, um, da, da, da. and I don't really know what it is, create hand-drawn designs with printable device mock-ups, um, so let's get it, draw your ideas on paper, every idea just 
Every idea just need a start. So start it with sketch. Every idea just need. You got a bit of a typo there, my friends. So start it with sketch. Maybe with a sketch. I don't know. Let's uh, let's do. Let's go through. I don't know what I'm, I've never seen this before, so I don't know. Let's uh, let's do. Let's do browser. Let's do browser. Um, I don't know what's going on. Download for download for letter. There we go. I don't know what's going on here. Now what do I do? Um, now what do I do? I don't know what to do at this point. Download your ideas on paper. Um, these people seem to love it. I don't really know what to do though. This is super cool. I love sketching wireframe. Hit nice tool. I don't know. This might be a bit of a dud. We can move on. All right. So sometimes I like to go through side projects, see what's going on there. Um, so let's check out. Let's check out what we got going on here. Um, let's do top, and then let's do top this week. Who else has been here? I will start a new side project. I finish it too, right? I finish it too, right? <laughs> I like that. I'm gonna upvote that. Upvote, you go. I create a job application tracking board with a browser extension so you can add jobs from any website to this board. Ooh, that might be interesting. I might come back to that. An open source collection of starter templates for the latest Bootstrap 5. Plan, plain JS. I don't know what that means. I made a Chrome. I made a Chrome extension that lets you view the Reddit comments of any YouTube video or web page. Web page. Web page. All right. Ask me something. An easy way to create a personal AMA dashboard and have an ongoing relationship with your followers. Website. Oh, this could be cool. Let's try this out. I like this. I like this one. Let's see. Hold on. How do I get? How do I? Did you leave a website link? Okay. So this person said website link. I would appreciate if you have any feedback. Um. So it's a way to create an AMA. Let's try it out. Create a personal AMA dashboard in a few clicks. See demo. Ask me something. Question will be visible once they are answered. How it works. Nothing complicated. A simple tool with a simple use. Copy and share your personal link. Oh, that's cool. Collect questions. Receive and answer. Embed easily as a widget on your website. Simple pricing. Free for 10 submissions. $5 a month for ongoing use. Let's, let's try it. Why not? Let's have a... Let's have a little sign me up. I'll give you a. Sh uh, I'll give you an email that I use. I don't know what password I want. Let's just give it that. Why not? You know. Gotta be generous. Gotta support people. All right. So I'm in. All you asked for my was my email. That's good. Ask me something. Welcome to your AMA dashboard. Start collecting questions by sharing a link to your public dashboard or embedding it to your personal website. All right. Received. Answered. This is how your questions are going to look once you receive once your receive. Ooh, you got to type. This is how your questions are going to look once you receive. We got ourselves a typo there, ladies and gents. We got ourselves a typo. It's okay though. To get started, feel free to put the widget on your website or just share your public page. Hope you like it, right? Received just now. How do I answer this? I love it. 
Let's send that bad boy. Now what? This is a... How do I do it again? Start collecting clips. Okay, so I guess I... I post this. Ask me something. Questions will be visible once they are answered. Okay, so I would share this board with like someone. I'll put it on a website. And that person is going to ask me, why do you make random... Vid van random videos of other people's side projects and they would submit that question now if I come back here and I refresh that question is given to me from the ah oh, why do you make random oh okay cool and then I say no nah, I say because I do what I fucking want and also I uh, it distracts me from doing what I should be doing which is work on my own side project ha and so I'm answering that rando person that asked me. That's cool. I like it. Um, in terms of an idea, I think it's, I would give it a, a th uh, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. I'd give it a three out of five. I'd give it a three. Um, it looks good. It looks clean. It looks clean. Um, uh, problem it's solving. Um, what problem would it be solving? Getting to know someone more. So maybe you, maybe you don't, um, or maybe not getting to know someone more. Uh, sharing more of who you are with other people could be the problem you have. And the solution is you post this and let people ask you any questions they want. Um, I don't really know any kind of like use cases for this. Uh, I could see it being pretty fun. Um, I'm trying to think. Maybe like um, uh, like a professor could post like ask me any question and I'll answer it. Um, Maybe like a, I don't know. Maybe like a celebrity uh, who do who does AMAs. Celebrities do AMAs. Um, professionals do AMA. So yeah, it's cool. I like it. Um, it's probably my favorite project so far today. So um, let's go ahead and find out who this person is and say, "Great job." Um, what's his name? Victor. Uh, right. I'm gonna, haha, <laughs> I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fucking post my little board to Victor. Hey, Victor. Hey, Vicky. No, I don't want to be a dick. Hey, Victor. Great, great, great job on the AMA. I found it on Reddit. Um, here's my, if you want to ask me anything, boom, how about that? Thank you, Victor. Thank you, Victor. My favorite project of the day so far. My favorite project of the day. If I don't. If you don't mind me saying so. Um, cool. So I think that wraps up a, a couple of um, projects. I think I have one more that I want to kind of show um, on the phone. Um, 
I'm trying to think, should I wait for the next episode? I think I'll wait for the next episode. I have a cool app that I found that I wanted to try and show. Um, but if you have any, uh, any ideas, things you want to try, things you want feedback for, uh, just send my way. Uh, the information is on my Twitter account or to go to my YouTube channel and just send me a DM and say, hey, can you check this out? And I'll check it out and then I'll record it and send it to you. Um, and, you know, let's, uh, let's, let's uh, keep building cool shit. Appreciate it.